Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSCR at home. In this video, we can discuss some of the MCQs related to microbiology. Okay, it is based on the previous videos. Okay, if you haven't watched the previous video, please watch those videos and study. Question number one. Runoff from agriculturally active fields and feedlots is an example of non point source pollution. Okay. Question number two The release of inadequately treated municipal wastes and other materials from a specific location along a river or stream is known as point source pollution. Because here the waste is released from, from a fixed location. Here waste is released from a fixed location. That means point source pollution. Okay. Question number three. Which of the following is not a coliform bacterium? Four options. Escherichia coli, Enterobacter, Klebsiella and Pseudomonas. Here we have studied Escherichia coli, Enterobacter and Klebsiella belong to coliform group. So, which is the odd one? Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Okay. Question number four. Incubation temperature for fecal coliform is that we have studied. Okay. For fecal coliform, the temperature is 44.5 degrees Celsius. Question number five. Common and preferred method of evaluating the microbiological characteristics of water which is the common and preferred method that is membrane filter method okay there is two method that is ambient method and membrane filter method which is the common and preferred method membrane filter method okay then question number six which test is widely used in water that does not contain high levels of background organisms sediment or heavy metals it's very easy. Which is the answer? Membrane filter method. Because for membrane filter method, the high turbid water cannot be used for membrane filter method. Okay. It contains a bacteriological filter. It will clog if the water is very heavy. That means it contains a lot of organisms, sediments or other heavy metals. It will clog the water which does not contain high levels of background organisms, sediments or heavy metals that we can use which test we can use membrane filter method then question number seven the presence absence test that is pa test can be used for coliforms it's it's a modified mpn test okay here the presence absence test means here large water sample can be used Okay, large water sample can be used. For example, 100 ml water sample can be used. And we can incubate this water in single culture body with triple strength broth. Okay, in the case of MBN, we used single strength and double strength broth. Here, we are using triple strength broth for PA test. And the, this broth contains lactose broth, Laurel, tritose broth, laurel, tritose broth, and brom cresol purple indicator. Okay, this triple strength broth it contains lactose broth, laurel, tritose broth, then brom cresol purple indicator. Understood? Then question number eight: Colloid defined substrate test can be used to detect. Four options, Salmonella, Escherichia coli, coliforms and B and C. Which is the answer? Escherichia coli and coliforms. Okay, this cochlear defined substrate test can be used for E. coli and coliforms. This medium contains ONPG. Okay, ONPG and MUG, M-U-G. ONPG means O nitrophenyl. Beta D galactopyranoside. Okay, O nitrophenyl beta D galactopyranoside. That is ONPG. 
and this medium also contains mug m u g that means 4 methyl ampliferyl beta d glucuronide okay m u g so if our water sample contains coliform what happens hydrolysis of onpg if coliform is present that means the medium it lead to the hydrolysis of onpg that means the medium turns to yellow color that is the positive test for coliform if the water sample contains fecal coliform then fluorescent reaction that means if fecal coliform means which is the bacteria escherichia coli if escherichia coli is present the mug modified to the mug modified to yield fluorescent product okay so if coliform if total coliform is present what happens hydrolysis of onpg that means the medium turns to yellow fecal coliform fluorescent reaction total coliform yellow in color that is the positive result Collier defined substrate test question number 9 mpn test is known as answer is a and b that is multiple tube fermentation test and most probable number method okay mpn test is known as multiple tube fermentation test and most probable number method then question number 10 which of the following is the selective and differential media for escherichia coli which is the answer we have studied emb agar that is eosin methylene blue agar eosin methylene blue agar tcbs tcbs is for vibrio xld is for salmonella okay if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you